Hi, I'm Trevor Tindai and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about six common contaminants found in my water supply and how I get rid of them. Today I want to give a special mention to Zaid, Seps and Sharon. Thank you very much Queens for your feedback and requesting this in-depth video. Six contaminants found in our water supply include biological contaminants such as bacteria, parasites and viruses, chemical waste such as chloride, fluorides, nitrate and sulfates, human waste such as fecal matter and detergents, heavy metals such as arsenic, cadmium, iron, lead and mercury, runoffs such as pesticides and car wash chemicals, and suspended solids and total dissolved solids such as sediment, animal fecal matter and salts. Tests done on our water supply found traces of contraceptives, hormones and class A drugs. How do I prevent all these contaminants from entering my system? I distilled my water. There is a line on the inside of the distiller that shows you where you should fill it up to. That line is just about there. That's about an inch uh, below the top, the top here. So an inch down. And I'm on the line. Dead on the line. Fantastic. So that's it. Loads of water in there. You can disconnect all the power leads as well as the fan unit so that you can clean the distiller quite easily as well as refilling it. Once you've refilled it, you have to put the fan unit back on and connect all the kettle leads properly. But you must also make sure that the, the fan head is actually sitting quite evenly all the way around the base so that there's no water or moisture that escapes when it's distilling the water. Spring water we buy from the shops, tap water and distilled water do not have any structure. These waters are known as H2O. Now structured water, H3O2, has many benefits such as hydration and detoxing impurities from our system. Electrolyte water found in our cells is structured. So by drinking structured water, it means that we're giving our cells the proper water they need to grow and regenerate. I use magnetic coasters to add structure to my water. South pole on the magnet is energizing and the north pole is relaxing. I also use these coasters to help ripen fruit that's not quite ripe yet. Also, you can use these magnets to help with pain in the body. So you can put the magnets, depending on what kind of pain you have and where you have it, you could use the magnets to uh, aid in relieving pain. I place a magnet underneath the water collection jug to structure the water as it distills. This saves me time by merging the two processes. Structured water holds its structure for three days, no more than that, so you have to use or drink that water within three days of it being structured. The distillation process takes three hours from start to finish. Next, I add my water to elite shungite to put minerals back in my water. I give this process about 12 hours. I only use glass containers throughout this whole process. I never put my water in a fridge and I do not drink refrigerated water. Always drink your water at room temperature. It's much better for your digestive system and your overall health. That's it for me. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like to add, please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.